Hi, and welcome. And today I'm gonna do my 2017 box office prediction review. Now, before I get started, I got a couple questions I'm on to ask y'all. There are some serious questions and some hard questions to ask. Um, we know that Star Wars The Last Jedi is going to probably be the highest grossing movie of 2017, without a doubt. And we know that 2018, probably, without a doubt, uh, The Avengers, if anyone, probably, going to be the highest grossing movie of 2018, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about those two movies. Which movie do you think will come close in 2017 of beating Star Wars The Last Jedi? Okay? That's the first question. Number two. Um, which movie do you think will come close in 2018 of beating uh, Avengers Infinity War? Number three. What movie, which movie, out of Star Wars The Last Jedi, or Avengers, The Infinity War, will make the most money? Question number four. Um, if you had to, to only see, if you had the choice of only to, to pick one movie to, to see, what movie would you think? Star Wars, Episode 8, The Last Jedi, or Avengers, The Infinity War? If you could only see one of the movies, Star Wars, Episode 8, The Last Jedi, or Avengers, The Infinity War, which movie out of those two movies would you go see if you could only see one of the movies? That's a hard question. Those two are big movies. Okay? And if I had to only, if I could only see one of the movies, I, I don't know which one I would see. And I don't know. Now, uh, the Star of the Last Jedi, we're gonna, we're gonna probably see more loot, and hit more, hit more people up in prime, and, and, and going, I mean, and if anyone, we're gonna see Spider-Man, finally in a Avenger movie, and we're gonna see, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy meet the Avengers. Which movie would you rather see if you go only see one of them? And the other question was, uh, the other big question was, out of those two movies, which one would you think would make more money? Comment below and tell me. Now, uh, well, other than that, let's get to my top 10 of box office prediction of 2017. Okay? Number 9. And Logan. Now, if Logan, uh, if Logan goes um, the route of Deadpool, which he's trying to do because it's rated R, and doing that because the Deadpool of Deadpool is rated R, then he can make a lot of money. And also, I think the reason I put it at number ten is because. Um, we got we got to put number ten because it, it's gonna be rated R and going the route of Deadpool and also it's the last performance of Hugh Jackman that will ring. Watch should say Logan, L O L because the, the movie is called Logan. Okay, and people should see his last performance. It'd be bad if the movie all make a hundred million. That would be pitiful. So number nine, is Spider Man, and without a doubt, the movie might even be higher on the list. That'd be bad if Spider-Man don't make. That'd be bad if Spider-Man Homecoming don't make in the top ten. Because we, a fan, a superhero fan, wanted Spider-Man be in the MCU for a long time, and now we did last year in 2018 in Captain America: Civil War. Okay. Number eight is another live action, uh, Walt Disney movie, at adaptation of Beauty and the Beast. And Jungle Book did really good, make a lot of money. I think, I think, 
I could be wrong, but I think it may be a billion. The Beauty and Beat will probably do good. Uh, number seven, in my opinion, some people say, well, what about uh, Lego Batman movie? In my opinion, I think uh, Despicable Me 3 will be the best uh, anime movie of 2017. Okay? And the kid, another Fast and Furious movie, and it's gonna, it gonna, it gonna bring a lot of fans uh, to the theater to see it. But in my opinion, I don't think it'll be as good at number seven because uh, you didn't, uh, you didn't know how Paul Walker in it. And but it's still gonna make a lot of money. It might even make uh, another billion. Number five, I would they quit making any kind of movie because every time, they, every time, uh, every time you make another one, another one, another one, they get uh, crappier, gar garbage. And garbage and garbage. Um, out of all of them, number two and number four were the dummy and the garbage. The crappiest. But my favorite was number one and number three. I, I would probably be more happy if I used to see a Transformer 5 if, if they had Charlie and Buff. But they don't. But the Transformer 5, the Latin Night, number five. And, and they can be so horrible and it's so making billion. Cause I think like every time they make a transformer, they, no matter how long they are, how short they are, they still make them, uh, uh, how crappy they are, they still make a billion. Number four, um, uh, this is part of the Caribbean, Tell No Tell, and they're gonna do, do good. And number three, this is a moment we come out. And, and the reason is, uh, before I tell you to mention the name, I'm going to say that you have Justice League come out, come, come after that movie, and they haven't even re uh, released a trailer for their movie, and come before Justice League. And you know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, Thor Ragnarok. And Thor Ragnarok is going to have two or three people in it. Thor, Hulk, and, um, what's another two people? Not the train. A three stupid If you have two or three more stupid in it, it'll be it'll be almost like the reward. And they confirmed that Hulk and Thor are gonna fight in the movie. It'll be it'll be like Avengers again. And then uh, number two is I'll be shocked if it's not the second high go to movie of of the year. Guardian of the Galaxy Volume Two. Cause we know what number one is. Everyone knows you don't even have to look it up on the internet or study it or think about it or meditate on it. But we know what number one is. Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. And I did talk about that at the beginning of my video. Okay. And that 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 is my top ten 2017 box office prediction. Okay. Now they give me some movie. There could be some movie on here that I that not gonna be in the top ten. That, that there, there's some, there could be some other movie that I, I left out that could be in there, like Conquer Island. That Conquer Island is one of the movies that I'm excited to see. That. And I think one of the, one of the coolest movies that coming out and one of the coolest trailers. But um, you know, I had to put in Transformers. I had to put in Disney Pixar Me, Face of the Furious, and Beauty and the Beast. You know, those movies probably without that gonna make a billion. I don't know how much uh, Conquer Island will make, but it could be in there. Uh, Conquer Island could be in there, and it could take the place of Logan. I don't know. So, but those are my uh, top ten predictions. Twenty seventeen box office prediction review. And thank you for watching. And comment below and answer all my questions. I did at the enter at the I asked you at the beginning of the video. And comment below also about my top 10 um, a video about my top 10 um, list uh, my top top 10 2017 box office prediction and one thing I'm gonna say is that um, my number one number two is the thing one and two on IMDB because I, I wrote down 
all I did, and then I went and typed on Google, and then, uh, it was the same thing, uh, number one, number two, because I already had Star Wars, number one, and number two was Garden Galaxy. So we'll see if uh, I M D and me is right of having Star Wars The Last Jedi and Garden of the Galaxy Volume 2, the high grossing movie of, of 2017, of, of having Star Wars The Last Jedi as the high grossing movie and Garden of the Galaxy Volume 2 as the second. Okay? So, so we'll just recap for a second. Number 10, Logan. Number 9, Spider-Man. Number 8, Beauty and the Beauty. Number 7, The Pickle Room 3. Number 6, The Face of the Furious. Number 5, uh, Transformers The Last Night. Number 4, Pirates of the Caribbean. Terror No Tales. Number 3, Thor Ragnarok. Number 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number 1, Star Wars The Last Jedi. And... Thank you for watching, and thank you.